Al while Jader dreams are haunted. In Gonzaga's Elite Eight showdown against eventual national champion Duke, his point blank layup would have tied the score at 53. And he missed it. The momentum was in Gonzaga's favor, but the Blue Devils quickly took it back, ending the game on a 13 to 1 run en route to finishing the Bulldogs season. We were that close to the final fourth, says Wild Jader, a second team All America selection last season. I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it all off season, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hungry to be better than we were last year. That's an interesting proposal, be better than a team that finished 35-2-3 and fare better in the NCAA tournament than any other star-studded roster that Mark Few has coached since taking over in Spokane. For the win an unbelievably missed layup killed Gonzaga's upset bid against Duke while Jader didn't stop there. We want to win the national championship, says Wild Jader, who averaged 16.8 points and 6.2 rebounds a game last season. I know people don't associate us with the Dukes or Kentuckys of college basketball, but we're fine proving people wrong. We're fine being underdogs. Underdog is the exact identity this program was tied to for so long, reaching the Elite Eight in 1999 to epitomize the term Cinderella a mid-major program defying odds against bigger programs to shock the nation. Before there was George Mason in 2006, Virginia Commonwealth in 2011 and Florida Gulf Coast in 2013, there was Gonzaga in 99. Yet the Bulldogs have flipped the script as tournament mainstays, having made 17 consecutive trips. USA Today the best NCAA tournaments and the relative teams of all time the blueprint to becoming the top-tier program a perennial top 25 team that is growing toward being positioned for a number one seed, is a product of the culture few has fostered, focusing on player development and team chemistry. That has been Bo Saint, 